Many religions claim that their god exists outside of the physical universe, which makes them undetectable. Uh, precisely, the, the question is, why is it impossible to know what exists outside of the universe? I thought about this question thoroughly, and I think I have a valuable answer. Imagine a TV. We well, all know that cartoons are fiction. Well, not everyone. I have come across a few people who genuinely believe Mario to be real, as is he exists in our physical universe. But imagine if they are real, and that the TV is like a crystal ball into their world. Imagine us to be gods. Now, when we are just sitting on the couch watching TV cartoon characters, we are outside of their world, their two-dimensional universe that appears three-dimensional to them. But the simple fact that we're outside of their world makes it impossible for them to know about us. We are physically detached from all detection. If Bugs Bunny believes in us gods accurately, it would be by mere assertion because he has no way of knowing about us. Likewise is everything he says about us. And likewise, Lola Bunny may say that it's just crap and say that the true god is a rabbit. Now imagine we are the cartoon characters in the TV. God is watching us from the outside and we live our lives trapped in encapsulation. There would be no way of knowing the God that exists right outside watching our every move. Therefore, every image of God that we come up with in this encapsulated world would be random guesses at God. So in order for you to know that a God exists rather than merely assert, then the God would have to interact with our world. If he interacts with this world, then for the moment he is not outside of the physical universe. He is in it. And when he is in it, scientists should be able to indirectly measure the effects of his power. For example, even if someone shot another, and the bullet disappeared into another dimension, we'd still be able to see the effects of the bullet, even if the bullet is nowhere to be found. If God exists and heals many as claimed, there should be a correlation between the people who pray to be healed and those who actually get it in testing conditions. Well, in these testing con conditions, all tests shows no improvement and absolutely no increase in healing. Rather, it stresses the patients out and even decreases their health. Many say God does not like to be tested. He would much rather be the one doing the testing. But wouldn't the more reasonable answer be that he does not exist? The same experiment could be applied to Zeus, Apollo, Buddha, Botan, or even the pink flying hippo, and the results would be just as pathetic. So is it more likely that all the gods and goddesses are cowards, or that they simply don't exist? In order to make a reasonable decision, you must make sure your emotions do not get in the way. Humans have the natural tendency to give family members special attention. Likewise, if you believe God to be your father, your emotional attachments would obviously obstruct your decision. But the truth remains, no matter how badly you want something to be there, it may not exist. Think back to high school, middle school, or elementary school when you took a standardized test. When you come up to a question you do not know, you then go by feeling to pick the best answer. Most turns out wrong, because feeling is merely a desire, not the truth. Understanding that believing in God using the basis of an emotional desire or attachment works the same exact way. So if you have questions, please post them in the comment section below or you can message me and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.